Okay, I wanted to go ahead and record a lecture regarding intensity and the intensity questions that you have. Um, I've got two questions in here. We'll go over this one and then uh, we'll take a look at the next one. <clears throat> uh, the first question here is uh, all this number, this number, and this number will all be randomly generated. So depending on what numbers you get, uh, the situation will be uh, look a little different. So what we have here is that the intensity of the radiation beam is measured at a distance of 90 centimeters and is found to be uh, 130 centigrade per minute. So what is the intensity of the beam at 115? So what you're going to see here is a fall off and it's going to be following the inverse square law. Now, how do we go ahead and use the inverse square law? We use the inverse square law by taking <clears throat> whatever it is that we started with and whatever it is we ended with. We put whatever we start with here on the top and we put whatever we end with here on the bottom. If this number is bigger than this number, we're obviously going to end up with something smaller than this. If this number is bigger than this number, we're going to end up with something that is bigger. So for this particular problem, we take the rate and we multiply it by 90 divided by 115, and that is squared because radiation dissipates uh, in two different directions as, it's, as it uh, expands out. So you can think of it that way as, as far as how it dissipates. So because of that, we take 130, multiply it by the square of this result, or 90 squared over 115 squared, multiply that by 130, and so we come up with this. And again, the units here are going to be centigrade per minute. These problems will always have this rounded off to a whole number. So that is why if you were to work a problem like this, you'll end up with an answer of like 80. So that's this specific problem. Now let's take a look here. Let me clear this out. There we go. <clears throat> now let's go back. Let's take a look here. So by what factor? Uh, does the intensity decrease when somebody moves from 10 meters to 20 meters away from a radioactive source? So uh, what factor does it decrease by? Well, again, this is going to obey the inverse square law. So in order to get at this, what we're going to need to do is the following. We're going to need to take where we start, where we finish, square it. So you're going to end up with 100 divided by 400. That ends up with 1 over 4. So basically, the intensity decreases. And you don't say 1 over 4. Basically, you're going to take the denominator here. And that's going to be your answer. It decreases by a factor of 4. In other words, you're cutting the original answer, uh, whatever that uh, intensity rate happens to be. You're cutting it by 4. So I wanted to go over that with you, and uh, there will be some other problems uh, regarding a TAR and TMR that I will be uh, developing and then talking about here in later lectures. <clears throat>